in just a few minutes, I'm going to the gym to work out. And as I go these days, I enjoy thinking about the journey of the last year. I've been going for about a year now, and it's great to see transformation that has taken place. Of course, the obvious transformation is that I've lost some weight, and that was one of my primary reasons for going. I needed to lose some weight, I wanted to lose some weight, and my trainer has really helped me in that regard. But a funny transformation I didn't expect is that I've come to enjoy a lot of what I do there. I've actually come to enjoy lifting weights, which I never ever thought I would say. Sort of like becoming a runner. I always wondered why somebody would run and how they could say they enjoyed it when it looked like such agony. But I realize now, as a modest runner, that there is a real unique joy to it and a real unique delight. And I think the same is true for lifting weights. I've really come to enjoy the discipline of it. I've come to enjoy the challenge and uh, the invitation constantly to keep pushing myself. Uh, there's a good discipline to it that I've come to enjoy for its own sake. In the first reading at Mass today, God speaks with incredible directness and a threat to the Prince of Tyre, uh, basically telling the Prince of Tyre that he's not going to live much longer because God is displeased with him and God is sending barbarians who will run him through and cast him aside. It's a pretty strong warning from God. We like to think that God is gentler than that. And most of us would say that when God speaks to us, it takes a lot more translation and a lot more listening. But in this reading, God is very direct with the Prince of Tyre, letting him know that his life is about to come to an end. It's a real call to conversion, even though I don't believe he does. It is an invitation, a very strong and direct one, to change his way of life. Hopefully, we don't need threats quite that strong in our own lives. Hopefully, we're able to seek conversion and pursue conversion, uh, not just because we're afraid, not just because uh, we fear the afterlife, or not because uh, there are consequences in this life that we don't want. Hopefully, we seek conversion because we've come to know God and the things of God and have come to realize that that's who we are and it's who we're called to be. So seeking conversion will bring forth our true self and will put us in right relationship with God and neighbor. Not just because we're afraid of what might be the consequences if we fail, but because we really want to live and promote the reign of God in our midst and be right with God, be right with our neighbor, and be right with ourselves.